I love pinatas and pinatas have candy in them. The only thing that's better than a pinata would be a pinata full of tools. This pinata is full of tools. Merry Christmas! What do we have here? Beautiful. Here's the thing I always tell people is the handles are, are inexpensive and easy to make. But the steel, especially good old steel that's got good carbon in it, that's heavy duty, you can feel, you can, I, I mean, granted this is bigger, but the density of that chisel, this one's a lot heavier piece of steel. Now some of these have been patched and put together because they've been split. And you know, there's, there's still great value in this chisel with a with a, a nice handle in it. It's worth fixing and keeping. This has got a maker mark, maker's mark in it right there with the arrow. It's really nice. When you buy a chisel at Home Depot, uh, the maker's mark where it's stamped China is not the maker. There's not a guy named China making all of those chisels. This one here, this, this was made by somebody who put a lot of time, effort, and energy into it and really made a very nice tool. Now some of the stuff, I'm not sure what happened there. I mean, that's custom. You're not finding that on the shelf at Home Depot, I'll tell you that much. That may have to just go into the trophy case for conversation. I'm not sure what to do with that. This one here, I, is, I've, never somebody, I've never seen somebody use a chisel like a number two pencil right down to the nub, but that's uh, still a great little chisel for whatever. You can see that they've ground it down and it's not, it's not square. I'd like to get that sharpened and squared up with the sides. It would clean that little chisel right up. This one's got kind of a, an interesting handle and it's got a little bit of a curve in it. But nice little custom chisel. Another, another great maker's mark on that chisel. So I, I just, I ordered these up on eBay. There was a whole set somebody was getting, getting rid of and selling off. And some great little tiny chisels for finish work or cabinetry building or whatever. How many chisels do you think a normal person with just a garage of projects would require? So you're saying I'm not normal? Well, you're a construction person that right. has people who work for him that need to use chisels. Yes, I do need a lot of chisels. But a normal person would, a small set. If you had some uh, half inch, a three quarter, a one inch, maybe go one and a half, and then go up to a two inch, that's a great set. That's gonna get you through 99% of the stuff that you're gonna come across. Now, the reason that I bought this set and wanted this set is because of the sockets. This, this allows me to put in my own handles to shape and fit my own handles. Now, granted, they've included quite a bit of, of older hand, handles. But I really like the sockets because it, it'll give me the ability to put my own custom custom handles on here and make them so that they suit me better. It looks like somebody pounded on that the end of that. But it's still a very nice chisel and if I could put an, a, a good handle in it, um, it it's good looking and it, it would serve me and my kids and their kids and their kids I and mean, there's just if with a little TLC these these chisels will last forever uh, that there is a lot of work here but this is great stuff to be doing in cold winter months when you can't be outside you can spend a few hours in the morning in the shop turning some handles cleaning polishing sharpening getting them organized and set up where they're easily accessible so that when you need them, they're ready to go for you.